Hey, what is up everybody? Zero Fats here, coming at you on behalf of Life and Times of Zero Fats .adventures on the river .com. Um, So I started this promotion uh, yesterday for Alex Jeffries DPM 2.0 uh, and I get a lot of people asking me, so dude, what is DPM 2.0, man? What is the offer? What, what exactly is he going to be teaching us, man? What's in there? So I kind of wanted to go in that a little bit today um, and just kind of do a little bit of teaching on this whiteboard with you guys. Um, we're going to keep it conceptual. Now understand that inside uh, the uh, digital product machine, uh, he goes into it a lot more in depth and a lot more detail. It's like it's over an hour's worth of training, and then there's like a ton of bonuses in there. And maybe tomorrow I'll go over some of the bonuses with you guys and let you know exactly how much content is in there. And maybe if you add on that, and then you add on all the extra bonus content that I'm at that I'm, that I'm giving you guys it's a huge value for like seven dollars so anyways but let's talk about what it is all right and the digital product machine is an idea it's an idea that you can create this automated system the simple like automated system that kinda like makes you money on autopilot now that's more than just like creating a product but let's start with a product okay let's start with that so let's say you created this uh, ebook. Let's say you created this ebook, man. And this ebook teaches people, you know, let's say this ebook teaches people how to hit a home run, right? Or how to improve your batting average. Let's use baseball strategies. I don't know why I always use baseball strategies for examples, but I do. Um, I'm really, I'm kind of more of a football fan than a baseball fan but I always end up using baseball strategies for example I don't know why well, let's just use baseball strategies. No, you know what forget baseball strategies you know what forget that let's let's go off the beaten path today <laughs> let's use fantasy football I love fantasy football I don't play it as much anymore but man I used to play the crap out of fantasy football let's use fantasy football let's say we're going to do an ebook teaching people fantasy football strategies. All right, so that's our first step. DPM is going to go into like, you know, ways to look at stuff like that. And actually, the DPM goes a little bit farther than that because it takes it back to like coming up with a niche, niche selection, ways to actually pick a niche, ways to examine the market to find niches that will make you money. All right, but I'm, this is conceptual here, and I just kind of want to give you an idea about the DPM. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of start here with like your your first product, and that, that's uh let's call it the FF, the FF guide, the fantasy football guide. All right, cool. We got this product. All right, now the product's great, but the product's not a digital product machine. All right, we're gonna build a digital product machine around the product alright and, and here's how we're gonna do it alright we're gonna take our product and we're gonna put it right here okay and that's our FFG fantasy football guide okay so like here's how it'll start right and now look this is gonna be conceptual I want you to know I'm gonna leave out just a couple of little things just because of the simple fact that, man, I, you know, I don't want to, like, reveal too much of what Alex Jeffries is doing. That's proprietary. You know, he, he's selling that information. So I don't want to give everything to you guys here, okay? But I'm going to give you a good idea about what's going on uh, with Digital Product Machine and what you can do with it. All right, so, so here's the Fantasy Football Guide, okay? Now, and I want to kind of take this as a prospect. I want to take this, I want to walk through this with you as a customer, okay? So matter of fact, let me just erase this fantasy football guide really quick and let's walk through it as a customer, all right? I created a fantasy football guide. Let's say I'm a customer now, okay? And let's say I'm looking for information to help me with fantasy football and I stumble upon this sales page, right? So we'll call that S. First step in the digital product machine, right? A sales page, right? Let's say I click 
Uh, looks good. The ebook, the fantasy football guy ebook, looks good for five bucks to me. It's got a decent sales letter, you know. Incidentally, you know, creating the sales letter and things like that are things that are covered in the DPM, okay? But we're going to assume we got it. We've got a good sales letter here on the sales page and it does its job, right? It becomes a salesman for us, okay? So they click buy now, all right? So the next stop is going to be another page, right? And we're going to call this OTO1. And that's one time offer number one. You see, let's say we got let's say we got our little ebook back here, FFG. Alright, and there's our ebook right back there. And that's pretty cool, man. We got it. And they're, we're gonna get them to the sales page to the FFG, because they bought it, right? But we're gonna make a couple of pit stops. And the reason we're making a couple of pit stops is we're gonna maximize our revenue, right? And this is going to be on autopilot and it's going to be set up to where our only job is to drive traffic, okay? And we're going to talk about the driving of the traffic too. We're going to get into that. But let's just, let's get this funnel situated real quick. And that's what this is called that I'm building in case you're wondering. This is what people mean when they say sales funnel, okay? So this sales is going to go to this OTO1. What the heck's the OTO1? What's the one-time offer? Okay, the one-time offer Here's what we're going to do. We're going to say, now this ebook I created, I went ahead and I recorded a video narration. I turned that ebook into a PowerPoint presentation and then I narrated over the whole PowerPoint pres presentation me talking. And not only am I, and I didn't just read the book verbatim, okay? What I did was I, I listed important points in the book and then I discussed them in the PowerPoint presentation. So now this is a different experience. So now you're going to get the actual book, but you're also going to get this uh, video presentation. Put a circle there, right? Video presentation. Okay. Now look, man, when you hit this OTO, you got two choices. You can either say yes or no to the one-time offer. Hey, look, man. Thanks for uh, thanks so much for picking up my book for five bucks, man. While you're here, I just want you to know I've recorded this amazing video walkthrough presentation of me giving my insider tips in addition to the ebook you're getting. Okay, this is fifteen dollars. I just think it's a really nice compliment to the ebook. So if you want, you can pick this up as well. Okay. Now they have two choices, right? They have a yes, right, or they have a no, right? So if they say yes, right? If they say yes, they're going to go to another download page. This is going to be, we're going to call this D1 and we're calling it this D2. D1 is just the fantasy football guide, okay? D2 is the FFG plus the VP. So they're going to get the fantasy football guide and the video presentation on D2. Okay? So if they say yes to the OTO, great. I want the video presentation and the final and the fantasy football guide. Sweet. Now I'm going to go to download page two where I get both of those things. Okay? Now as a product vendor, I maximize my revenue, right? Because I didn't just make five bucks off the ebook. I made 15 bucks or I made 20 bucks. I made 15 off the video and I made another five off the ebook. So I, I maximized that customer into $20 instead of five just for having this OTO option, okay? Now, if they say no, okay? If they say no, right? No, yes, right? If they say no, they go on to the download page and they get their, their football, they get their fantasy football guide. If they say yes, they come here and they get the fantasy football guide and the video pres presentation. Okay, now look, this is like a super simple sales funnel, okay? It's extremely simple. Now I want you to know on Alex Jeffries funnel, usually there's two OTOs, okay? There's a down sell, okay? And, 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 and that's like the, the simple version of the sales funnel. So this is like an extremely basic, you're just gonna offer an upsell, right? Now, I mean, understand, see here where it says no? 
If he says no to the OTO, if our customer comes in, buys the guide, says no to the one-time offer, many people will put a down sell right here, right? You say no to our $15 OTO, well let me offer you another $5 OTO, okay? And this will be like a down, we'll call it a down sell. This will be a down sell. Five dollar down sell, and what that might be, that could be your draft picks for this year for fantasy football. Here's who you recommend in the upcoming season. That could be the down sell for five bucks, right? And if they say no to that, then they go on to the download page. If they say yes to that, right, then they go to what? D3, right? D3, where you know what? They get the DS and they get the FFG, right? So all this is is just maximizing revenue, right? You're maximizing every lead and every customer that comes in to your funnel, right? You're just maximizing, that's all it is. Now the more I make this, the bigger this gets, the more confusing it might look to you. But understand, this is nothing but just a big choose your own adventure book. You remember like when you were a kid and you used to read those choose your own adventure books? Hey man, do you want to jump over the cliff? Or do you want to take a rope and climb down the cliff? You know, you choose. You pick one way, you mess it up. You pick another way, you win, right? That's all this is. This is it's just a, the sales funnel is just a, a, a choose your own adventure book. That's how you got to look at it. You're going to create all these pages and you're going to connect them, right? Don't let it get complicated. It's a choose your own adventure book. All you're doing is maximizing your revenue stream. So this is great. So you set this whole thing up. I mean, you, you got a little potential to make money here. Some people are just going to buy the ebook. Some people are going to buy the ebook and the video presentation. Some people are going to buy the ebook, refuse the video presentation, but then pick up the down sell for five bucks. You're going to make ten bucks off of those people. That's twice as much as you make off of the people who just get the ebook. This is three times as much four times as much really because it's fifteen dollars okay so cool that's great that's that's like kind of a basic sales funnel and that's a major component of the DPM they talk about this a lot in the digital product machine you know understand something this isn't quite my business model okay it's not okay my business model is a little bit different than this but we're talking about DPM right now and understand something I'm teaching you this right now and it's not my business model alright but you know who is really good at this business model who's made millions of dollars and taught other people to make millions of dollars using this business model Alex Jeffries the dude who's trying to sell you DPM for seven bucks right so that's the cat that can teach you this for seven bucks right from the horse's mouth dude <laughs> you know that? I don't, I don't really practice the sales funnel. I mean, I dabble in sales funnels, but I don't like tons. I don't tons. This isn't quite my business model. Alec, this is Alex Jeffries business model. Now, this isn't the whole business model, okay? But I promise you, he's done it. He knows it front and back, front to back, and everything in between. And he's going to give you a much better understanding of what this is. Okay, so cool. So there's that. Um, what else? Here's the other thing. All right. Here is the other thing. And I know you already know this. What makes all this go? Traffic. Right? Traffic is the fuel that runs this engine. You see, what this is is an engine. We built an engine here. But this is the fuel that runs it you must have it the car sits in the driveway and doesn't go anywhere unless you have fuel for the car traffic is the fuel all right now you can look at it a bunch of different ways because there's a lot of different ways to get traffic you know you can get paid traffic and there's a lot of different ways to get paid traffic you can get organic traffic and there's a lot of different ways to get organic traffic now all this traffic has varying degrees of quality, right? You know how when you fill your gas up in your car, 
you, you know, uh, you got three different qualities of gasoline. You can get the really expensive stuff, the premium, you can get the middle of the road stuff, or you can get just the normal regular gas, right? It's kind of like that with traffic. You got a lot of different kinds of traffic, okay? Now, Alex Jeffries teaches affiliate traffic. This is his sole business strategy for traffic, affiliate traffic, all right? So, that's not really my business model. That's really not what I use for a lot of my traffic generation. I use a lot of social media, you know? But, that being said, I'm not a millionaire. I make good money online, but I'm not a millionaire. Alex Jeffries is a millionaire, okay? He's a millionaire, and this is how he does traffic. Now, I'm not saying there's not people out there who do what I do who aren't millionaires. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that I'm not making more and more money every year doing what I do. So don't get me wrong. What I do works. It works really well. But understand something. There's a million ways to make a million dollars on, online. Okay? And what Alex Jeffries teaches primarily is affiliate traffic. So, some of the positives about affiliate traffic, um, you have a warm traffic source. All the traffic coming into this funnel, okay, has been recommended by your affiliates. Your affiliates recommended you to their list, like I'm doing for you guys right now. I'm recommending Alex Jeffries' product to you. So if, if your affiliates have a good relationship with their list, like I like to think I have a good relationship with all you guys, um, then you know this is really good traffic to put into your sales funnel. This is really good traffic to put into your engine. Because, you know, think about it. If you got your car broken down, like, and you're trying to figure out where to fix it, and you're worried that like you're gonna take it to the wrong garage, and like they're gonna rip you off, I mean, think about it. If you call around and get like strangers' advice about where you should take your car, um, it's gonna have so much weight. But then, like, if your dad tells you where you should take your car to get it fixed, it's gonna have a lot more weight. Or like, if your best friend who knows about cars tells you the best uh, the best garage around, that's gonna have a lot of weight. Cause one, that's your friend, and number two, he knows about cars. So now the stuff he says is going to have a lot of weight. It's going to affect your decision heavily, right? So you understand, Alex Jeffries can get affiliates um, who have lists and have followings that respect them um, to drive traffic to his engine, and that's a really good traffic source. All right? And this is what he teaches in the DPM 2.0, okay? How to make all this happen, okay? So, yeah, is it worth your $7? Without, without a doubt, it's worth your $7, okay? Uh, so, anyways, that's, uh, that's basically what the DPM 2.0 is. Um, obviously, I'm being conceptual. Obviously, I'm skimming over a lot because, you know, this is just a YouTube video. Um, I don't want to reveal all Alex Jeffries' tricks. I mean, they're his tricks. It's his product. Um, but I wanted to give you guys an idea of what you're going to be looking at and what you're going to be getting. Basically, you're going to be uh, dealing with an expert trying to teach you a proven system. That's basically what you're going to get. Um, it's really good. It's highly, highly efficient. It's very much worth the price of admission. I have it. Um, and I wouldn't recommend it to you if I didn't believe in it. I mean, just take a look at my channel. Take a look at my YouTube channel and see how many products I affiliate with. So... Anyways, it's not like I'm on here every week promoting another affiliate product. It's not really something I need to do. It's not really something I want to do. But when things come up that I do feel like would help, and I, I do like to promote for them. So, anyways, uh, I think that's about it for the DPM. Obviously, there's more. Um, there's a whole. God, you know what? Tomorrow, what we're going to do tomorrow is uh, I'm going to be running this promotion all week. So I'm going to do another video tomorrow, and tomorrow I'm going to talk about like some of the bonuses that are in there. Because I think, I mean, it's one thing for me to tell you guys, hey, there's a lot of crap in there. But like, it's another thing for me just to list them on and show you, hey, look, look at all this crap that's in there that you're going to get for your money. So, 
that's another thing entirely. But this video, my primary focus is showing you what the DPM 2.0 is and just kind of letting you know, you know, what it's going to do for you, you know. So anyways, uh, there's, there is more to this. You figure like, um, you figure once you got them here, um, there's also a back end money point, right? Because now they're on your buyers list. And you could say, boom, boom, boom. All three of these download pages um, are great. And they're going to end your buyers up on this coveted buyers list. And this buyers list is another money point because you can promote. You can promote it to your buyers list. These are proven buyers, people who have bought an off of you, all right? And you can promote your future products to them. You can promote affiliate products to them as long as you believe in those products. Um, and yeah, so pretty sweet. That's another piece of the puzzle. Um, now look, consider this. You, are you gonna spend $7 on the DPM and all of a sudden you're a master internet marketer? And you're going to be able to create entire sales funnels and you're going to be able to be a master at driving traffic and you're going to be a master at, at the buyer's list uh, email marketing campaigns. No. No. I can show you how to play chess right now. How all the pieces move. How you win. What, what's the most powerful piece. I can show you all that right now. It's not going to make you a master at chess. Okay. It's going to take practice. You're going to have to put some work in, right? And you're going to have to get better. You're going to have to go from, I don't really know how to do this. I mean, I understand how everything works and how everything operates, but why did that happen? Why did this happen? Well, I sent an email to my buyer's list and nobody bought anything. What did I do wrong? <laughs> you're going to run into crap like that, man. And you're going to have to figure out what you did wrong. How come your buyers aren't responding to you? How come no one's buying your OTO? Oh man, I put an OTO in place, man. How come no one's buying it, man? What the heck? We got a do down sell in place, man. No one's buying it. I don't understand. I got, I'm getting thousands of visitors to my sales page and no one's buying my product. I don't get it. Why? <laughs> Why? There's a good chance you got really bad sales copy. On, on your, you know, if you're getting lots of visitors, you either got really bad sales copy or your traffic's not preconditioned. They're not coming from a good place, you know? You're sending people who want to get their car fixed to a site about fantasy football. Or you're sending real NFL fans who only care about the game of football to your fantasy football uh, guide. They don't care about it. So it doesn't matter if you get 3,000 visitors. They're not targeted and they're not preconditioned. So there's no trust and there's no real interest. There's only a couple things going to keep your page from converting. Either you got your traffic doesn't care, or your sales page sucks. <laughs> so, and I've experienced both of those things personally. And I, I'm, I'm speaking from experience. A whole lot of failure. <laughs> I've had success and failure. So, I mean, yeah, yeah. Those are the things that can keep this from working. It's going to be the same thing here, man. You know? They're not all going to buy your OTO, but some of them should. Some of them should. If no one's buying your OTO, your OTO to me is probably not congruent with your offer. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It's not making enough sense. You know? The OTO has to make sense. We did the book, and then we did the video presentation of the book. Why? Because some people learn better with video, right? And then we did a downsell of actionable content. This is actionable content. It's not just a guide on how to do something. This is actionable content of, hey, step by step, what you should do. Dude, I could put another one-time offer in there of me actually going through a real fantasy football draft, right? And you get to watch the whole thing as it happens, as it plays out. That's a killer, that's a killer OTO. Killer. That's killer. It's killer, all right? So, I mean, there's lots of ways you could swing it. But my point is, you're not going to be perfect at first. It takes practice, dude. You're not going to buy something and all of a sudden you're making thousands and thousands of dollars in a week. I mean, you have to practice things. You have to get better at them. You have to figure out what works and what doesn't work. But the most important thing is, you have to take action. 
You can't just do you can't just buy it and look at it and not do anything and just like continue. And I see this all the time, man. People buy things and then they buy more things. And then they buy more things and they, they continually study. And they ask questions in Facebook groups constantly. They'll message successful internet marketers constantly, asking them questions, picking their brains. But they never really move forward on anything. And this will happen for years. It's nonsense. It's nonsense. So imperfect action is going to be way more valuable than a whole buttload of thought with no action. Or very little action. So anyways, I, I hope that's not like a big, I don't want to end it on a downer. I want you guys to know this is quality information from a master. Okay? Alex Jeffries is a master at this business model. Do not doubt it. Do not mistake it. He's a master at this business model. And I'll take it one step further. If you look at Alex Jeffries' own personal funnel, look, this front end offer, here's how he inspires affiliates to send him traffic. He goes 100% right there. He goes 100% right there. And he goes 100% right there. Everything through his funnel, he gives 100% of it to his affiliates. Everything. So then you might ask, How, how's that cat making money? I don't understand. How's that cat making money? I mean, I could tell you how he's making money, but it's not really relevant to this video, is it? And the fact is, I think most of the people watching this video are pretty smart. And I think that if you actually research it yourself, you'll figure out how he makes money. Okay? Um, so yeah, man, that, that's it. So this, this rabbit hole goes really deep. It goes really deep. Okay? When you got like sales funnels with two OTOs and two down sales and 100% commission to affiliates all throughout the whole funnel, it's a, it's a dynamic sales funnel. It's dynamic and it's, um, it raises the bar, you could say, for sales funnels. So you might wonder, how is the cat making his money? It's an obvious question. Whenever like, you can do something different and people don't understand quite how that's working, a lot of times there's a very good chance it's going to be successful for you. You know, As long as you know how it's working, it doesn't matter if everyone else knows how it's working. Um, email me if you want to know how he's making his money. Okay, I don't want to reveal it in this video because I feel like it's pretty off topic for what we were talking about. Um, but uh, I don't mind talking to you more about that. Uh, but for this video, just understand that's ba the basics of the digital product machine. Um, also, uh, I want to make sure I let you guys know um, that I'm going to be adding more bonuses uh, throughout the week to my uh, bonus section. Uh, so if you purchase, all you guys who purchased um, the digital product machine through my affiliate links, uh, make sure you check th make, throughout the week, check the bonus section, that I, my bonus section, because uh, I'm going to be adding a couple more things to the bonus section throughout the week, just as the week goes on, to kind of give people something to look at and, you know, kind of check out, you know. So also make sure you go over there uh, and sign up for the contest, the golden ticket contest. Really cool contest. It's going to be going on all week. It's going to give people a chance to win lifetime access to AdventureStoneRiver.com as well as the affiliate command. Uh, going to have five lucky winners on that. So the golden ticket contest. Anyways, hope this video has been helpful. That's Alex Jeffries, Digital Product Machine 2.0. That's kind of what it's about. It's really cool, worth every penny. And uh, I bought it, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, I'll catch up with you guys in the next one. Hope this video has been helpful. If you like it, please share, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the funny pages. Peace.